Palace shares update on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's former UK home. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's former UK home, Frogmore Cottage, remains empty more than a year after Prince Harry and Meghan officially vacated the property. Palace officials at the annual Sovereign Grant briefing said there were no new tenants in the Grade 2 Crown Estate property in Windsor Home Park. The Sussexes formally moved out of the four-bedroom abode on 29 June 2023, having repaid the £2.4 million to cover the cottage's refurbishment and rental. Harry and Meghan spoke about packing up the house in their Netflix docuseries. A palace official said at the briefing, during the year, Frogmore Cottage has remained empty. I don't think, at this point, I would speculate on who will be the future occupants of the cottage. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. He added, the sovereign grant has been fully reimbursed for the refurbishment costs of Frogmore Cottage when it was initially provided to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and, therefore, there is no cost to the sovereign grant other than some routine maintenance, but it would be required for any of the buildings. It was previously reported the disgraced Duke of York was offered the much smaller Frogmore Cottage in a bid to relocate him from the larger Royal Lodge. But Prince Andrew was said to have signed a 75-year lease on the Royal Lodge mansion in 2003. Harry and Meghan moved to the US with their son Prince Archie after stepping back from royal duties in 2020. After temporarily residing at Hollywood producer Tyler Perry's Beverly Hills mansion, the couple bought a $15 million home in Montecito. The couple welcomed daughter Princess Lilibet in 2021. When the Duke visited the UK back in May to mark the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, he reportedly stayed at a hotel after declining his father King Charles' offer to stay in a royal residence. Relations between Harry and the royal family have become strained in recent years, following explosive claims about Charles, his stepmother Queen Camilla, and the Prince and Princess of Wales in the Sussex's Oprah Winfrey interview, their Netflix docuseries and Harry's memoir, Spare. The Duke last met with his father in person in February following the King's cancer diagnosis. In his memoir, Spare, Harry spoke about what it was like moving into the Windsor property, which was gifted to the Sussexes from the late Queen. We loved that place, Harry wrote. From the first minute. It felt as if we were destined to live there. We couldn't wait to wake up in the morning, go for a long walk in the gardens, check in with the swans. Especially grumpy Steve. We met the Queen's gardeners, got to know their names and the names of all the flowers. They thrilled at how much we appreciated, and praised, their artistry. The Duke of Sussex will touch upon his rift with the royal family, in a new documentary about phone hacking. Prince Harry will discuss his mission to continue his fight to expose the illegal tactics of Britain's tabloid press in ITV's Tabloids on Trial, which airs on Thursday 25 July. In a sit-down interview with ITV News's Rebecca Barry, the Duke is asked if his determination to take legal action against newspaper publishers played a part in destroying the relationship with his family. Yeah, that's certainly a central piece to it, Harry responds. But, you know, that's a hard question to answer because anything I say about my family results in a torrent of abuse from the press. I've made it very clear that this is something that needs to be done. It would be nice if we, you know, did it as a family. I believe that, again, from a service standpoint and when you are in a public role, that these are the things that we should be doing for the greater good. But, you know, I'm doing this for my reasons. Rebecca asks the Duke, what do you think of their decision not to fight in the way that you have? Harry replies, I think everything that's played out has shown people what the truth of the matter is. For me, the mission continues, but it has, yes. It's caused, as you say, part of a rift. The father of two, who now resides in Montecito with his wife Meghan, and their two children, Prince Archie, five, and three-year-old Princess Lilibet, 
settled his case against Mirror Group newspapers in February.